hello my seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel my darlings oh my goodness it's an amazing feeling just to sit right here and be here with you now my darlings um please know if the reading does not resonate my darling aries it is not for you this one all right just come back a different day because i do upload very often i upload at least three videos every day and if you do not get my notification on any of those days just come on the channel and check because I upload every single day, all right? Now, also, if it's your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and turn the post notification on. So that way you will be the first to know whenever I upload brand new contents. Also, give the videos a thumbs up, y'all. Because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push it out into a much wider audience. And the channel and that particular video will grow, okay? For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support. I see the love, y'all, and I'm embracing all that good energy. Now, please make a note that the card has been shuffled and the card has been blessed. Uh, ever before I get into the readings, I always have to pray first. Asking the Lord just to give me the right messages to share with you, the seekers, for the ones that need to know. So let's get into a prayer, and then let's just get into your reading. Heavenly Father... As I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send on your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the seekers for the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and I give you all the praises. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, my darling. So this um, is a quick reading, okay, y'all? Very quick one. I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, someone is saying, if I come back to you, would you let me be me? So someone is saying that they want to come back to you, but they're afraid that you won't allow them to be themselves. Um, maybe, maybe being themselves is trouble is what I'm feeling. All right. Um, and just saying here, I really feel bad that I want you both. Okay. <laughs> so I know right off, right off the chart, right immediately. That this person wants to come back with our uh, ultimatum, okay? They want to let you know that if they come back to you, um, will you allow them to see other people? I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting maybe like an open type of relationship, maybe. Maybe this person wants you to accept them being with that other person is what I'm feeling here. They want you to accept someone else in the picture. You owe it to yourself, okay, to commit and do the right for this to work. So someone is saying, listen, angels want you to know this. You owe it to yourself, okay, to commit. Do the right thing for this to work because, honey, let me tell you something. This me accepting that other person, the both of us, it is not going to work. So just forget it. Just forget it. Whatever is on your mind, wherever your mind frame, your mindset is, just go ahead and just get it out of your mind because that is not going to work. It didn't work then and it's not going to work now is what I'm feeling here. Messages, please. Messages, please. Okay. This person here I'm seeing... They have unfinished business, okay? They have unfinished business with this person here, okay? They do. I also feel like this person that's coming through to you, in your eyes, they're kind of irresistible to you. They kind of, you have a kind of a very strong connection with them. I feel like you have a very strong sexual connection with this person as well, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. A very strong connection, all right? But they have unfinished business I have unfinished business oh you're feeling broken about the entire ordeal I feel shattered about the situation here so I'm gonna say that they feel shattered about the situation wow this person might have been dishonest to you dishonest okay because they didn't um want to let go of a third party other people i see other people coming in i don't know why i'm feeling like there's not just one i feel like there's many others there's a lot of gossip going on people start to talk honey 
people start to talk about all this shit that you're going through. I'm afraid of what other people will think. Yeah. Other people is going to think you're damn crazy for accepting such of a ridiculous offer. Seen other people and I know about it. Are you kidding me? No. There's a lot of gossiping going on right now. I think people already know um, what's going on here. Messages, please. Messages, please. Yep. Ego is getting the best of them, okay? They have an ego for 100 miles. Oh, my goodness. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Okay. Ego, honey. Um, I do still feel like um, there's a soul tie with the two people, two people, right? I do feel like there's a soul tie. I'm getting a feeling that this connection here that they're asking you to accept the other person. I feel like that person and them maybe have some kind of tie together as well. Um, I think they, they might, they do have a very big ego is what I'm feeling here for real. The ego is a is a hundred, okay? Uh, but I do feel like they do have a connection with the, with the third party as well, okay? Messages, please. Okay, messages, please. Mm. I feel like they're holding back some other things, um, some secrets. I should have expressed myself better. Yeah, they did hold back. I feel like when they first um, met you, they didn't tell you everything that you needed to know, like their fetish. I feel like this person has a damn fetish, okay? Um, just know one thing, that no matter where they, where they go, whatever they do, they will never find anyone like you and what you had bring to the relationship because um, they know that you're ir irreplaceable. That's why they don't want to let you go because they know that you bring something different that they never had. None of the other people, the other folks that they have been with, doesn't bring the light to the relationship the way that you do. And that is one of the reasons why they don't want to let you go. But that is also one of the reasons why they come to you with that stupid offer, okay? Messages, please. Closure. Let me have some more messages. Closure, please. Let me have some more clarity. Clarity, please. Okay. Clarity, please. Six of Wands came up here. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Also see um the Eight of Swords coming through. Eight of Cups coming through. Um the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands and the Page of Cups. I feel here in the Page of Cups here. Um, I see apology coming in here. I see maybe a pregnancy coming in as well. Somebody might, might be pregnant. Maybe someone that your person has out there is pregnant. Someone else. I see a baby pregnancy coming in. Maybe someone just found out they're pregnant here in the Page of Cups. New possible idea. Be open-minded. Maybe some opportunity is coming your way too as well. Also in the Eight of Cups here, you have to make a choice and walk away. If that be it. Because I feel like with this situation here in the Eight of Cups here, a lot of disappointment, okay? Lots of disappointment here, period. Uh, this person disappointed you to the core. I feel like this person, um, you cannot ask them to make a decision, to make a choice, because they already told you off the bat that they are going to be um, needing um, satisfaction guaranteed. And that satisfaction is having more than one um, partner, okay? Also seeing the Ace of Wands here. Um, follow your instinct because there is a new beginning and potential ending your way in your circle. But I do see a pregnancy again showing up here in the Ace of Wands here. A new start, okay? New start, honey, right? Twice, pregnancy in your future, around you, in your circle. Be careful how you, um, you know, sleep with this person because you might end up pregnant, having a baby. You might either pregnant somebody or somebody getting... Yeah, a baby's in the circle, okay? And the six of wands here. Um, just know your, your power, all right? Know your power, know your grace, know your morals, know when enough is it enough. And the five of pentacles here. I also feel a situation that is coming in here that um is ending, okay? Ending. I feel for some of you, maybe this relationship is about to come to an abrupt end, finally. Because you're not able to give this person what it is that they truly want. And that is um, sharing themselves with other people. I also feel like you have to take responsibility here in the haste of, in the Eight of Swords here. Take responsibility because 
this situation has caused you to feel trapped, like you're trapped between a rock and a hard place. Or you feel restricted with the situation too. You definitely feel betrayed because you've never seen this shit coming. And you're feeling stuck as well. This person definitely had lied to you, okay? It's time that you release yourself from bondage, okay? Just release and let go. It's time, honey. The clock is ticking. Dickity, 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 dickity. It's time to let loose and live again. And with that said, my darlings, that is the reading for today. Hope it did resonate. Um, If it did, please let me know your situation down below. Also, remember to pray because prayer works all the time. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you will always find.